Hume Council under the Stars event is great because uh, Adil Ray and Sonny Diol are here most importantly. Of the BBC Asian Network, without, yes. without them, no, without us, there'd be nothing. The BBC Asian Network, it's grown a lot from its beginnings originally in the Midlands. So, I mean, how do you feel to be a part of it and to be here at Newham today? Well, it keeps me in a job, so I'm really happy. <laughs> no one's cut my electricity off. But, um, no, seriously, in terms of the station, yeah, I mean, Adela and I have been there for a long time, actually. We've seen it change massively. Um, we remember what it was like, just a Midlands wide, like, quite oh, small back network. in the day, you know. Yeah, like... yeah, which was like, like songs and dedications, Absolutely. wasn't it? So, it's changed massively. It's a real uh, like representation of uh, what's happening to Asian culture, which like is just really dynamic. It's exciting Absolutely. musically, culturally. So much going on. I mean, it's really important. You know, everything we do on radio, you, you're speaking directly to the community. You know, cut, cut the middleman out. And this is the community. This is the people out there. You know, it's it's it's, it's as important for the artists as it is for the people out there. They're the 15,000 people that turn up on a Saturday night and come here and support the act. And it's so important. And what we do on radio, you, you know, there's no point doing something if it doesn't reflect and doesn't speak to the community, so it's vital, really. Yeah, and I think, personally, it makes us feel very proud, to Absolutely. be honest, because we're British-born uh, and we're Asian. And, and the thing is, like, you know, events like this, when we were growing up, um, they, you know, they, were, they weren't very well organised, they were very small. And to, to have the commitment to put the money into an event like this and to put something like this on, you know, for, for people that make up that community, and there's like a strong Asian contingent behind us, it's just brilliant to see it's like you know it's about time this kind of stuff happens. I think what's been really good about this event as well you've got big artists like Jazzy B and, yeah. and Richard Richard which is great but there's a lot of local acts on you know there's dance groups that have been working all summer yeah. for, look, for what turned out to be five minutes on stage but you know that's really important so you know so they're, they're, they feel very proud they feel very involved and it really is a community event. We've got members of the Asian Network we've been doing this for a long time now you know and it's what we do when we were Midlands based it's what we did what has changed that it's national and now thankfully everyone else is really Realising how vibrant the Asian culture is, but to be honest, without being too overconfident, but we've been we've been onto it for a long time, which is great. But it's now great that other councils and and the whole of the country is getting behind it. I want to say I think the BBC Asian Network have been, you know, for this year and the last couple of years, been very careful, with, you know, which which events we want to get involved with. And there's there's almost two different types of mellas now, where a mella can be run by a promoter, where it's about getting 40 acts on stage, and some of them even charge to get in and all sorts. So I don't see this as a commercial event. This really is about promoting the culture to a wider audience, a combination of your established artists, your new artists, community artists, and that's really important. So it's, it's certainly, it's, I don't see it's commercial. You know, we're not, yeah. no one's charged 30 pounds people come no. and see this. This is, you know, it's a free yeah. event and it's done by the people themselves, the councillors themselves, and the BBC have supported it. And I think that's, that's the ideal scenario, really. Yeah. On my show, we'll, we'll champion artists who haven't got music signed or released yet. You know, that's yeah. really important. It's because about otherwise, you know, audiences, Keely, the guys who live in, you know, in East Ham, you know, and, and producing music in their bedroom, how else are they going to get this stuff out there? Absolutely. I mean, look, you, you, all the artists that you've seen on stage, you know, some of them, uh, as Adil said, um, are just starting up. Um, others are really well established. All of them need a platform um, because, you know, we, we see these artists, when I say we, like, you know, your average listener and the people in the crowd will see them on television, will we'll download their tunes, will listen to those. But, you know, to see them live on stage, you don't get the opportunity to do that all the time. So this is allowing them to, to have that and experiencing that. And they won't forget that for a lifetime. Trends and phases, you know, this is worth more than trends and phases, which is why it's carrying on. It's, it's not a fashion, you know, it's just like jazz music or Latin music or, you know, blues. It, 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 it's, it's a genre yeah. in its own right and it deserves that recognition. I think, I think events like this prove that it's not a trend, you know, and, yeah. it, and it will always be used by a trend. You know, one day you'll hear Selfridges are going to do a Bollywood themed yeah. night or whatever. You know, they will do that and that's not so bad, but that's not what it's about. It's about events like this. It's about, and I'm Shameless plug, but the BBC Asia Network. You know, we're on 24/7, regardless of whether it's a trend or not. People are listening to Bollywood music at home, regardless of it's a trend or not. You know, so that, 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 but the trend thing is good. I think you know, every five or six years, you know, somebody will try and make a, you know make a meal out of it. It brings newer people in, yeah, so exactly. it's good in that respect. But you know, Absolutely. then a lot of people will stay with it because they're like, ah. And again, you know, presented as the Asian Network, never worn a sari before, suddenly start wearing yeah. sari. I'm like, ooh, you know. is this a sari? Yeah. This is actually yeah, quite cool. Yeah. <laughs> Lost your <laughs> I think it's really important for, for young British Asian people not to feel just because Bhangra and Bollywood's a popular thing they feel they have to do that. Yeah. You know, it, it's got to be real. You know, I think there was a phase when you know when Rishi Rich was doing really well that every Tom Dick and Harry and Sajid and Mohammed wanted to produce music. Yeah. You know, and, every and, Tom Dick and yeah, Ali. Yeah, Tom Dick and Ali. Exactly. <laughs> you can have that. You can have that. That's from Sonia, right? <laughs> 
But no, you know, everyone wanted to produce music and, and, and it kind of, it, it sort of demeans it a little bit. So we also encourage that you can be British Asian and be into rock. You can be yeah. into hip hop, you can be into R&B. There's no, you know, you don't, we don't have to be labeled by being Bhangra or Hollywood. Um, but at the same time, you know, you, you can have somebody who's non-Asian who's producing Asian music and that happens a lot, you know. So I think it's really important. What's that? What's that? What's that? So have a look at this. Yeah? See it. Try it. Live it. Love it. It's all about live life. New encounters, new initiatives to so get up and get going. Available now, 299, Khan Brothers, <laughs> Parking Road. Okay, bye.